Using GarageBand's editor window, you can quickly switch between viewing your notes in MIDI format or as musical notation. But did you know that you can also edit these notes and then export, save and even print your track's notation as sheet music? Okay, first off, select the software instrument track whose notes you want to edit in the score view or save as sheet music. Then open the editor window by either clicking on the editor icon in the top left of GarageBand's window, selecting show editor from the view tab in the toolbar, or by hitting the keyboard shortcut E. Then click the score tab. Any notes that are already present in your MIDI track will be displayed here in the form of musical notation. Changing the key of your project up here in the LCD will also change your sheet music. GarageBand's default key signature has no sharps or flats in it, for example, but if I change the key to A major, you can see three sharps are added next to the treble clef. Similarly, if I change the time signature, it will change here too. You can edit, add and remove notes in the score view the same way you can in the piano roll. If I click on this note to select it, I can then lengthen or shorten the note by dragging and dropping. With a note selected, I can hit delete on my typing keyboard to delete it. And if I hold the command button on my typing keyboard, my pointer changes to the pencil tool and I'm able to add notes here as well. It's really interesting to switch back and forth between the score tab and the piano roll to see how these changes that you've made translate. When you're ready to export or print your musical score, head to File in GarageBand's toolbar and select Print. From here you can choose a printer that's on your network and print your notation directly, or if you click on the PDF drop down menu, you can choose to save your notation in PDF format and then attach it to an email or save it to iCloud Drive, for example, amongst other things. Let me know your thoughts on working with notation in GarageBand down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap on your way past if you found this video helpful. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see it. To find out more about a different way that you can work with MIDI notation in GarageBand, watch this next. <laughs>